Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to delete WordPress website and start over. So let's get started. So we are going to do this in two simple steps. In the first step, we are going to delete our WordPress website. So this is the WordPress website that we are going to delete. So here it is. As you can see, it's working properly. So to delete our WordPress website, we are going to log into our cPanel account. In the address bar, we are going to type our domain name slash cPanel and hit enter. And this will take us to our cPanel login page. And here we need to enter our cPanel username and password and then click on login. You can find this username and password from the email which is attached to your web hosting. So now we are in the cPanel account. From the cPanel account, we are going to scroll down to software section. So here it is. And from here, we are going to click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. And here it will show us all the WordPress installations. So next to our WordPress installation, we will see a drop down. So we are going to click on it. So here it is. And it will show us further options. So now we are going to scroll down. And here we will see an uninstall button. So we are going to click on it. And now from here, we are going to scroll down. And then we will click on Remove Installation. And then we will click on OK. And in this way, our WordPress website will be deleted. So now if I go to my website and refresh it, and here you can see that website is not available. So WordPress website is successfully removed from our web hosting. And now we are going to see how we can create a new WordPress website from scratch. So let's get started. So from the cPanel account dashboard, we are going to scroll down again to software section. And then we will click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. And now from the top, we are going to click on Install. And now we are going to do the settings for our WordPress website and install it. So at first, we are going to select the domain with its protocol. So from here, we are going to select HTTPS. And then we are going to select our domain. So domain is now selected. And next is in directory. If you want to install WordPress directly on your main domain, like your domain.com, then you can leave this directory blank. But if you want to install WordPress on any other folder, then you can use this tab. As WordPress is already installed on my main domain, so I am going to use this tab. So I am going to enter my directory name here. And now WordPress will be installed on my main domain slash this folder. So next is site settings. We are going to leave it as it is because we can do all these settings from our WordPress dashboard. So we will go to the next step, which is admin account. This admin account will be used later on to access our WordPress website dashboard. So now I am going to quickly enter my admin account details and then we will go to the next step. At first, we need to enter our admin username, then admin password and then admin email. From here, you can choose the language for your WordPress installation. After that, we are going to scroll down to the bottom and on the bottom, you will see email installation details too. Here, we are going to enter our email and all the installation details will be sent to our email. After that, we are going to click on install button and WordPress will start installing on our domain. It will take a little bit time. As you can see that WordPress is successfully installed on our web hosting and domain. Now to access our WordPress website, we are going to use this first link and this will take us to our website. And now if you want to access your WordPress dashboard, then you can use this second link and it will take me to my WordPress website dashboard. So this is how you can delete WordPress website and start over. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.